State health officials say they are making progress in getting those shots into people's arms. But in order to reach the desired herd immunity by fall, the weekly supply of vaccine coming in needs to double or even triple. Mary Jo Ola reports. The state reports about 105,000 people have received a COVID vaccine so far. Aside from that, about 5,000 have completed their two dose series. Despite some frustration, the rollout is taking too long. Wisconsin health officials insist there has been progress in these first few weeks. You no know, side effects and I'm kind of really relieved that now I have that second vaccine. Jill Paulzine has spent more than 30 years as a registered nurse at Freighter Hospital. After getting her second dose of the Pfizer vaccine Thursday morning, she remains focused on the cancer patients she serves. To be able to offer them the confidence that we're doing whatever we can to keep them protected by making ourselves as healthy as possible. Jill is among the state's first to get vaccinated. Wisconsin is currently in phase 1A, focused on healthcare workers and people in nursing homes. Everyone in Wisconsin who wants a vaccine will be able to get a vaccine but it will take some time. The Department of Health Services says the number of registered vaccinators jumped from 108 in mid-December to more than 1,000 as of this past Tuesday. The number of daily vaccinations is also growing. On Monday, we administered about 6,000 first doses statewide. On Tuesday, that rose to about 8,000 first doses. And yesterday, about 11,600 first doses. Officials expect bigger shipments of Pfizer and Moderna vaccines in the coming months, but say supply is core to picking up the pace. To really get us um, through a higher throughput of people through these phases is we're going to need more new vaccines. We're going to need additional vaccines. As for Jill, she looks forward to the day when work feels a little more normal. Because it is a caring and compassionate field, it will be nice to be able to be able to touch patients again, provide a hug when needed, things like that. Mary Joola, TMJ4 News. And to get your vaccine questions answered by health experts, our digital team has responses to frequently asked questions by simply going to tmj4.com slash coronavirus.